Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys another episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. But if you guys are enjoying the series so far and you happen to enjoy this episode as well, please do not forget to hit that like button because it does help support the series channel video. It makes me a very happy guy. Last time we battled Steven and uh, we finished the game and we saw a little bit of a cutscene at the end, um, hinting towards the Delta episodes, I do believe. And um, I accidentally cut off the video a little bit before then, but then I tried to, you know, uh, show it so um you know yeah but let's go ahead and go because from what I have been told the Delta episodes start as soon as you wake up in Little Root Town so let's go ahead and do it and let's see what what happens from here Ooh, yep see X X X X the X X day of the what the what okay I don't even know what that is like okay um let's see moss moss deep space center celestial observatory all right all right getting into the nitty gritty getting into the nitty gritty professor cosmo it's it's a disaster wait what the meteor see the meteoroids tra trajectory gosh that's a weird word it suddenly changed direction now it's on a collision course with our planet. What? Recheck the data. Update the course calculations and confirm the new trajectory. Ooh, we getting target locked on. Confirming the meteoroid's new expected tra trajectory now. Gosh, it's a fucking word. Shit. <laughs> According to the numbers, it should make impact somewhere southwest of Sutopolis on a small island of off Route 131. Ooh, but changing trajectories mid-flight. It's almost like it's alive. But Professor, what should we do? What do we do? Calm yourself, man. Calm yourself, man. Whoa, just take it easy, man. Y yes, sir. I see it. Hmm. So it's come to this. Okay. Ah. Ooh, wait a minute. Aqua Grunt? Nah, it's not an Aqua Grunt. Zinnia. Looks like I won't be needing this. Yep. Oh, she wasted the outfit. Oh, Zania. That's so much better. Oh, I feel so free. Okay. That uniform's got pretty stinky after a while and all sweaty, too. Oh, and the Wizmer. Oh, my adorable little Esther. Oh, Aster? That's the name? Oh, are you happy to see me looking like myself again? Hmm? Ah. You're just too darn cute. Oh, I thought she was gonna say damn cute, but never mind. Like always. Aw, she loves her little Wismer, and then she has a powerful fucking Salamence. How do you go from Wismer to Salamence in like that? I don't know. But anyway, phew. Anyway, but there's not much time left for us. It'll only be a matter of weeks. No, days. Things have gotten a bit tricky now since that kid managed to stop one of the super ancient Pokemon from being revived like it should have been. Wait. Not that, not that it's really a big deal. No, not that it's a really big deal. I already thought of a new plan. If I just tweak a bit of a keystone, let's see, one with the, oh, okay. What is she talking about? Wait, I swear I'll protect you. Whoa, Aster, okay. Pokemon Alpha South Sapphire Delta episode, woo. No, but no, but for real though, like legit, like, wait, so was the Pokemon supposed to be, was the, was Kyogre supposed to be awakened or no? I don't know, but, oh, it's Pops. Hmm. Hmm. Why? If it isn't Jay, it's been some time since I last saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Okay. Oh, and before I forget, I was thinking of giving you these to you. A pair of tickets. Looks like we're gonna take May with us. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There are tickets to the Star Show that's being held at Mosty Space Center, okay? I was really planning to go with your mom, but it looks like I've got to rush back to the gym in Petalburg. Oh, hmm. You know, it's a pair of tickets. Why don't you invite that little cutie May from next door to come along? Hey! Called her a little cutie. 
Not bad. Looks like I will go and invite her. Oh, that dad of yours, he's come home for the first time in ages. And, he, and all he talks about is Pokemon. Why can't he ever just let go and relax? I don't know. T television see, and tomorrow, the long awaited star show will finally begin. We've got all the latest news and updates, okay? Oh, well. And just like that, look at this, Jay. I see you, I see you. I see you, I see you. See, at last, the little. The what? Okay. I see this. Mm hmm. Uh huh. The star show held at the Moss Deep Space Center will provide the best view of the shooting stars from the center's lofty viewing deck. We hope you will all take the chance to join. Okay. Okay. The Lytle Nid. Oh, the Lit Leo Nid. Oh, the Lit Leo Nid. That's Lit Leo Nid. Oh. Damn. How can I not read that? That says Lit Leo right there. Like, what in the hell? Wait, what did she say? Did we need to do anything special first? Oh. She heals us. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let us. Oh. Ooh. What is this theme? Huh? Whoa, are we in sync or what? You know, I was just thinking about you. It's great to meet you. It is our first meeting, right? Yeah, that's right. Of course it is. The name's Nia, and you? Well, I know all about you. You're Jay, of course. You're the new Pokemon League champion. And you're one of those special few who can see who use Mega Evolution to get even closer to their Pokemon. Now, aren't you? Okay. Okay, I know, I know. I'll leave it alone. Look, I'm stopping. But this sure is a nice place, isn't it? Little Root Town, and everybody living here is just so nice, too. Like that neighbor of yours. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to go on like that. We should see, we should keep our first meeting short and sweet, don't you think? Until next time, then. Bye bye. Okay. All right. We met Zania. We met Zania. We met Zania. And let's go. Ow, why'd she say ow? May, are you okay? So what should I do? A oh, wibble. Oh, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, Mom. She just knocked me down a bit. Ouch, that stings. Okay. Oh, Jay. Hi, May. What's going on? Jay, you, you're all right, huh? That's a relief. It all happened so fast that I couldn't do a thing. Ooh, voice crack. But some strange woman came in my window upset. What? Wow. And then she took her keystone? Oh. Are you kidding me? See, something like Petalburg's next. Jay, be careful. Wait, what? Petalburg? Uh-uh. Hold up. Hold on now, Zania. Hold on, Zania. I'm gonna need you to not do that. Like, hold on. I'm just gonna use the Eon Flute to fly to Petalburg because I don't wanna I don't wanna sit there and waste my time trying to travel there on foot when I can just do this. And Let's see. Boom. And look at that. We're there just like that. Just like a that. Not bad. Not bad at, at, at all. All right, so Petalberg's next. Wait, Wally. Aw, oh, what is Matt doing? You're such a little pain. Shut up and give me the keystone. I don't have it, I'll t I tell you. Don't play dumb. I already know you can use Mega Evolution. Ah, are you even listening? I've been telling you. Ah, Jay. Oh, what's up, Matt? How you doing, bruh? What the? You punk. Oh, just in time, aren't you? I'm going to take your keystone first, you jerk. Really? Really, Matt? Are you going to take my keystone? But what is he doing? Like, no, legit. What is he doing? I don't understand. Why does he need my keystone? I mean, I know. Wait, some. And then they said some girl came through the window and took May's keystone. Now, was that Zania that came through the window and took the keystone? Or was that Shelly that came through the window? No. It couldn't. I don't think it could have been Shelly because Shelly doesn't care. Like, Shelly is with Archie. Unless. Unless. Oh, Passion wants to learn Heat Wave? Hell yeah, you do. Um. 
Well, Heat Wave is 90 accuracy. Wait, Heat Wave is only 95 base power now? Then there's no point. I thought Heat Wave was like 100. They they keep on nerfing these moves. All right, Matt. Oh! All right, Matt. What do you want, dude? Like, who has Maze Keystone? I don't think I can... If it was Zinnia, then wow. But I feel like it wasn't Zinnia. I feel like it was maybe... Courtney? No, Courtney wouldn't have done that. I don't know who it been. See, you clown always getting up in my all up in my business. If it's gonna be like that, I'm off to Meteor Falls. Okay. Thank you so much, G. That strange man suddenly attacked me, demanding that I hand over my keystone. The truth is, I couldn't give it to him even if I wanted to. My keystone is gone. I left it in the house when when I went out, and it just disappeared. What in the world is going on? If someone like that ever shows up again, I gotta I gotta protect my mom and dad. You be careful too, Jay. All right. So now they're heading towards Meteor Fall. Wait. Excuse me. The entry. See the entry call version 0 0.09 app rang on your PokéNav Plus. Hello, hello. Is that you, Jay? Oh, it's Steven. I gave him a really dorky voice. Anyway, whoopsies. It's me, Steven. Have you been doing well? I imagine you must be quite shocked. This is a communication mode that Devin is still currently developing. It comes installed on every Pokenaf Plus. I thought I would see. I thought I would only use it if I needed to c contact you urgently, but it looks as though that time has already come. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but I need you to come to the Devon Corporation in Rustboro. There's something I have to talk to you about in person. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay. Well, he'll be waiting for us there. So let's go, let us go ahead and go there. Man, I hate reading out loud because it's like I suck at reading out loud. I can read to myself, but I can't read out loud. Ugh. All right, let's go. Rustboro City. There you are. Dude, I just love soaring in the sky. Cause I mean, flying, I don't know. Soaring in the sky is just awesome. And it's like we don't even need a flyer. I love it. I love it. All right. No, I keep doing that. I keep doing that. I really do keep doing that. I think what I need to do is switch the placement, switch the placement of the flute and the bike because I keep doing that and I hate doing that. I really do. Oh well, it's whatever. Um, let's just keep on going with this though. This is getting good. This is like, yo, this is amazing. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait, it's Steven. All right, here you go. Jay, I'm sorry about summoning you so suddenly. It's well known how often my intuition turns out to be right, but I never imagined we would be meeting again this soon. I'm sorry to say it is not happy news that brings us together. Sigh. This isn't something we should discuss in public. Let's continue this inside. All right. After you. All right. Thank you, polite Steven. Steven, you're so polite. So polite. Dad. Boom! Says it right there. Dad. Even though they don't say it specifically, yes, them two are related. Yes, Mr. Stone is Stephen Stone's father. Yeah, I mean, we already kind of knew that from, like, more or less the anime um, and the older games, I do believe. But, yeah, this is his dad. Well, welcome, welcome. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Oh, I suppose I'm just getting old. Recently, I seem to forget details just as soon as I learn them. Ho 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 ho, okay. Dad. Ahem. <laughs> oh, I know. I know what you want to say. My, what a hasty, impatient one you are. What are we to do with such an impatient one for our Pokemon League champion? Hmm. Oh, is that so? So you're the new champion, Jay? Hell yeah, boy. Then I guess we'll never break you of that impatience after all, Steven. Damn. Dad. <laughs> Steven's so serious. See, can't you take a joke? Nope, he can't. Now then, Jay. I'm afraid that I'm planning to start in. I'm planning to start in on a rather long and quite heavy topic. Oh my gosh. Are you sure that you're ready to take it all of it in? I guess so. Hmm. <clears throat> then I suppose I should begin. Let me first take us back 3,000 years to the days when this story began. Wait a minute. AZ? Uh-oh. 
Yep, AZ. I like how they got AZ up in this shit. Ooh! There was a great war at that time in a region far from here, Kalos. That war was finally brought to an end by a weapon created by one man, AZ. And what energy source could prov could power? And what energy source could power such a dreadful weapon? Do you know? You see, it ran on the life energy of Pokemon. The energy that could be gained by sacrifice of so many Pokemon. There are surely many people who would call that reprehensible. But my grandfather, the president of Devon, bef Devon before me, said this. Couldn't we use the energy to improve the lives of people in Pokemon? And so he developed our greatest creation here at the Devon Corporation. Infinite energy. Thanks to infinite energy. Or infinity energy. Infinite energy? Infinity energy. Frick. Infinity Energy, Devin was able to become one of the top industries in Hoenn and develop into the giant you see today. You may be surprised to learn that the Devin parts you once recovered for us were in fact parts of a motor that would make it possible to power a submarine using Infinity Energy. It was not long before we began to expand our attempts to further human development. You see, next we moved into exploring space. The rockets launch from the Moss Deep Space Center using our infinity energy. They are the true results of our dreams, our passion, our technology. But never did we imagine they could end up as see, the best hope for saving our world. See, my premamble, premamble? I think so, has been quite long, but we have we arrived at last at the real issue, okay? That is the overwhelming ca catastrophe. Fuck. I can't read. Oh my gosh. Which now approaches us. Okay. A huge asteroid more than six miles in diameter. My word. Is currently on track to collide with our planet. Whew. We have been working together with the Moss Deep Space Center, which was first to recognize this disaster. We are devising countermeasures that would use our rockets, but in order for these plans to succeed, though, we need a meteorite shard. So that's it. You want him to go and get that shard for you. Ha, that's my boy. All right, I knew you'd understand at once. See, it was hardly a deduction worthy of praise. I want you to make your way to the granite cave near Duford. According to our surveys, you should be able to find the kind of meteorite shards that we need there. And you, Steven, I want you, I want you, son, to head for the space center at once to start preparations using that link cable. Link cable, nice, that I gave you. The link cable, so it is to be see, so it is to be a warp system. Yes, I understand. But granite cave, ah, I see the floor where we first met. The floor with the ancient wall paintings. It is true that there are many shards of meteorite scattered about there. Okay, it looks as though it's decided then, Jay. I will head for the space center in Moss Deep. If I learn anything, I will contact you at once. Though it will end up as another one-sided message like the one I sent you. I'm afraid. Good luck. Okay. Steven, you be careful. Okay. All right then. Get into the nitty gritty. Then I will be counting on the two of you to take care of this for me. If you forget just what it is you need to do, come talk to me again. Assuming I remember as well. Ha ha. All right. Okay. All right then. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go to Granite Cave because, uh, whew, we getting into the nitty gritty, boy. Getting into the nitty gritty. All right. So let me, first of all, let me go in my bag and let me deselect that. So let me see now. Okay, now if I use the Eon Flute, it just, boom. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and soar. Let, let's soar to, wait a minute. Granite Cave is this way. And Route 106, Granite Cave. All right, nice. See, I like how we can fly to specific routes and areas rather than just like, you know, fly there. You know, I like how, well, soar there anyway. But let me go ahead and go in my bag and let me reselect the bike. That way when I push the button. Oh wait, what? Oh wait, select start to switch buttons. Oh. 
There we go. Okay. That's how you switch the buttons. Alright. Damn it! Running in the Pokemon here. What? What do we run into? An Abra. You know, it would have been really cool to find this Abra, like, way in the beginning. But now, I can't. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Um... Let us use Ink Arms in the front. No, let's use... Let's use Valentine in the front. No, let's use Passion in the front. Passion in the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw up a Repel if we even have any left. Um... We have some Max Repels. Sweet. Okay! So let's go ahead and go to that part there. Wait, first of all. Oh, I need the mock bike to get up there. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Oh, it's Zenia. Okay. Ugh, Zenia. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Mm mm. -mm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, it seems like it's true. It really is just like the wall painting there. This one shows primal reversion, while that one shows mega evolution. I guess that proves it once and for all. Our great ancestors once lived here, too. The ancestors who passed down through me the knowledge of how to protect the world, how to avert the threat that will appear from space as long as. as long as. no, as long was foretold. Shit. From a higher, from a place higher than, wait, even than the heavens. See, these sentences are structured so weird for me. What is it, Aster? What's up? Oh. Mm -mm. Do we battle? Oh crap! Do we battle? Ugh. Oh wait, she looks happy. Oh, she's not even a threat. She doesn't. I mean, I know she's a threat, but she doesn't seem like a threat. Oh, we do seem to meet an awful lot, Jay. Are you also interested in this old painting? Yes. Are you here for the other? Or are you here for the other? For the one... No. For one of the meteorite shards that can serve as a source of power for the legendary Pokemon that lives in the heavens above. Either way, you know I adore you. She didn't curve me yet. That's it. I can't help it. I have to battle you. Oh. I'll play nice though and ask first. Are you ready to battle me, right? No, oh, you're ready to battle me, right? Yes. That's my boy, aw. Now let's do it, give me a good taste of everything you and your Pokemon have to offer. I hate reading out loud. I hate, oh shit. Okay, woo! Damn, she is real. She is so real, okay. She is way too real and let me go ahead and plug my 3DS in. I gotta stop. I gotta read out. I gotta read out loud better. But you know what? Oh well. Honestly, the only reason why I'm even reading out loud is because people want. I guess people will want me to read out loud. But I suck at reading out loud. I hate reading out loud. I really do. I really, 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 really do. Ah! But this isn't even her theme, though. So this isn't even. This isn't the real battle. Like, yeah, this is not the real battle we should be fearing, though. Where we, we, we meet her Mega Mints. Like, I want that battle. That's the battle I want. Whoo! Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Altaria. Damn, she has all these Pokemon, yo. Come on, now. Okay. Rock Slide. Please flinch. Please flinch. Yes! Ask and you shall receive. Like, ugh. But seriously, I promise you, I promise you guys, I can read. I just don't read out loud very well because I mix up my words and my language just comes out bad. Oh, please don't Mega Evolve. If you Mega Evolve, I'm gonna cry. Okay, good. She, didn't, she doesn't Mega Evolve in this battle. I feel like in the next battle though that we have with her, with the actual her battle music, oh, we she will mega evolve and she will not be playing any games at that point. Which means we gotta get serious with her too and mega evolve when the time comes. But as for right now, we don't need to mega evolve. Oh my word. Okay, 
Dragon Claw. But basically, oh shit, that does so much damage, dude. But basically, we have to go. Alright, there's a. What? Damn! Stupid! Missed the rock slide. But basically, there's a meteor on its way to Earth, and we have to stop it using the meteorite shards to provide energy for the machine. But. Zenia is all up in here talking about some um, mega evolution and junk, and I'm not really sure what she wants, but hopefully, can we get a crit? No crit? Damn. Ah, full restore, full restore. I keep having to use my full restores because they do so much damage, and like my levels are low because I skip trainers all the time. But let's go for another rock slide. I just want to crit. I don't want to get critted though. All right, cool. And that's it. Zenia is done. And that's a level up for us. But I think I'm gonna end off this episode right here though. After ooh, ende what endeavor? No. Why do we want to learn that? What the hell? Level fifty six. And that's it. Oh, Zenia, looking good. Yes, that's it. That's just what I was looking for. All right, what's up, Zenia? What's good? What's up? What's happening? Nice, real nice, Jay. Oh, I really felt that one. Full points to you. That settles it. You get this meteorite shard as a reward. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Let's see. Whoa. Why did that sparkle? That glittering meteorite that you've got there. Hmm, it's sure giving off some vibes. I'd keep a tight hold on it if I were you, along with that shard I just gave you. Hey, the actions you're taking now, are they based on the ideas you cling to? Or are they based on actual truths? Truth and ideals, ooh! And if they are, how much of, see, how much of the truth do you think you know? Ooh, that's some shit to think about right there. Yes, ma'am, moving out. Such a spoiled girl you are, Aster. Aw. So what will be our next stop, hmm, sweetie? Aw, she treats her Pokemon so well. Aw. All right. Wait. Okay, we get another call. Jay, were you able to find the meteorite shard that we need? If you were able to secure it, could you hurry back to us at the, spa uh, at the Moss Deep Space Center? I'm afraid we don't seem to have much time left. I'll be waiting for you. All right, well... In the next episode, we will go to Moss Deep and um, help Steven out and whatnot. So if you guys did enjoy this new episode of Alpha Sapphire, do not forget to hit that like button because it does help support the channel. Series video makes me a very happy guy. Also, do not forget to answer the question of the day. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.